need to get on Succession too. Did you guys watch that? Only the first on two the list seasons. Too. Okay. There's yeah. We got a lot, a lot on our list, watch. guys. I know. I need to finish that. Uh, the rest of the seasons. All right. So let's talk about our weather because our weather is going to be perfect as we head toward the afternoon. Right now, though, a little bit cold. So grab the layers. It's uh, very typical. We have the cooler nights and then the near normal conditions by the afternoon. All right, so Riverside, we're looking at temperatures this morning, still a little bit chilly, about 42 degrees. The low clouds and fog haven't really reached uh, in the Inland Empire, but we are definitely looking at a really good forecast to exercise. Take a look at that. So we are looking at um, looking at clear skies, temperatures a little cooler this morning, which is great to do any of your physical activity. And then once you head toward the afternoon, we're going to start to see much more of that sunshine and our temperatures closer to normal. All right, so our next weather headlines, we're talking about mild and quiet conditions. We have the low clouds for each night and morning, so that's going to be the drill. And you may have noticed we do have some patchy low clouds and fog that have returned this morning. And then by the time we head into the middle of the week, we're looking at those gusty west winds starting to pick up. Then for this upcoming weekend, we're talking about the possibility of some some rain, some unsettled weather. So that's something that I am tracking for you at the moment. Visibility right now, you can see down to about six miles for the Simi Valley area, six for Malibu. So just some really patchy clouds here and there. And then we do have visibility down to about two miles for the Chino Hills area. And you can start to see some of the clouds settling into the Hemet Valley, Hemet and Temecula. And then we are also looking at just some low patchy low clouds for Long Beach. Today is the Kingdom Day Parade. Uh, we're looking at the parade starting at 10 a.m. at Exposition Park. So when the parade begins, you probably need to grab a layer, maybe a hoodie, and then by the time you head toward the afternoon, you can start to shed off your layers and maybe just wear a t-shirt because we're talking mild conditions. And then the parade ends at about 2 p.m. and we're looking at some lighter west winds. By the middle of the week, as I mentioned, there is a chance that we're going to see a little bit more of the breezes, the winds picking up as the system passes to the north of us. A lot of what's going to make its way down to us kind of fizzles out, so we're probably not going to see any moisture from the system, but it's definitely going to bring much more rain and showers over to the northern part of the state. Behind it, we have high pressure. This is what's going to bring us more of the drier weather by the end of the week. But all eyes are on a big system coming in from off the coast that will start to move its way a little bit closer to us. And that could bring us more of the rain chances as we head into this upcoming weekend. Take a look at our extended forecast for L.A. and Orange County. We have mid 60s today warming up slowly but surely to the 70s as we head into Thursday. And then as that big low pressure system approaches Southern California, our temperatures will drop slightly on Friday. And then as the rain chances increases, we're talking temperatures going down into the mid to low 60s. Kalina.